What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video, new Eurovision update, I think this is number 9 already and there are many many news I want to cover, so each of the new will be of course timestamped and also for most of those news I will have some commentary, so keep it up, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video and let's start! Let's do this! <laughs> Okay, normally I'm not starting like this, but I'm very glad that you're here. Also, you can become members of my channel, so we have exclusive content just for you. Also, like most likely full versions of the reaction videos. Sometimes they are copyrighted blocked, so then you cannot have them. I'm sorry, but this is how YouTube really works. But for the rest, I'm trying to always have a version for members, which is completely full. My whole reaction for the rest, cut it up. Of course, you can also watch my Junior Eurovision videos because I'm trying to cover also this this year it's <laughs> it's fantastic right the whole year i didn't stop doing youtube videos about eurovision junior Eurovision, and whatsoever i'm glad because i can do it only because of you and because you're watching and you're reacting and you're interacting with this channel i'm very glad for it really thank you very much and let's start with the first news of the day which is MRT, and I have the no notebook over here, or Macbook over here, MRT, the Macedonian, North Macedonian national broadcaster, was revealing how big budget they might have for Eurovision Song Contest. I don't understand completely, but the thing is that they have something just for, because they will be probably broadcasting it, but, you know, there is a part, and I use it in ESC Discord, the North Macedonian broadcaster, MRT, has released its proposed financial plan for 2025, the planned costs for Eurovision next year, are 2 million Macedon dinar, equivalent to about 32.500 thousand euros. Based on previous year's budget, this is unlikely to be enough for participation. Yes, for sure not, because like to be very, very honest, such a budget, this is impossible to create a proper Eurovision thing. First of all, you have participation fee. Second of all, you need to broadcast it. That means people are around it. You know, it's not like broadcasting that you do this and uh, it's broadcasting. It doesn't work like really like YouTube. And either way, I still need to be here. The camera needs to be here and I need to talk. I'm spending time and now imagine there must be somebody from sound, somebody behind the camera, something, something. All those people are paid. Second of all, regardless, the North Macedonian like salaries will be for sure absolutely in different scale than in, for example, in Germany. First, what won't change for Germany, neither for Germany and for North Macedonia are the costs for travel, are the costs for accommodation, at least the minimum change, you know, the, the, like Germans can say like, okay, we will live in better hotel, but regardless this, those cost something. And even if you send just artists and just head of delegation and maybe just head of press, three people just this you need to have them on place for two weeks you need to cover the costs of travel and also they need to eat something so this and also they also cost something and also you need to prepare like a dress for it you need to prepare uh graphics for it those even a few elements cost a lot of money and i think it's almost impossible to do for example eurovision under 100 000 euros per country and then of course the salaries can make the difference but then all the costs additional costs and so on they are very similar to all the other countries and also participation fee is probably very different from country to country because they then would be afford or be able to afford them so 32,000 euros really like 100 percent cannot cover the participation of the country. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't, like then everybody is doing it absolutely for free, including the artist, everybody, without food. Because I think 32,000 euros, this can really cover just staying in the hotel and maybe, and maybe the travels. This is a reality. This is a reality. Things cost money. Let's see, I wish more and more countries are going in, but the costs are crazy. And I think public broadcaster in general has a hard time because of course the commercial channels are pushing and pushing the governments and so on to get rid of their power over big program shows because they want their share on the market regardless what does it really mean i think i'm very glad that we have this kind of system with public broadcasters also who are pushing from public money on the quality also for commercial channels so they need to try a little bit more because in 
theory, the market theory, this looks amazing, like the competition will create much better products and so on and so on and so on, but also they can create cartels and also <laughs> what is like I think Eastern European reality if they will not have competition which has the certain budget and can do the work perfect like very very good on high level like Czech television for example in here like <laughs> for much lower budgets you know than commercial TVs has then the quality of public of commercial TVs in here will be even lower than it is now. So I think that this kind of competition actually really works very well for them to do better job because after all, we are not living in perfect world and some kind of combination of this capitalistic, let's say, but I think all is capitalistic, it's a way of the approach. Anyway, this I get to completely different topic. Let's move on to Germany because there are amazing news coming from Germany at least from my perspective let me tell you more about it Stefan Rapp and I'm all again will read some discord news ARD, RTL and Stefan Rapp will collaborate on the German national final that will select like their entry for Eurovision 2025 25th in Basel. First of all, amazing news. Commercial channel and public broadcaster are again working together on a greater good. I think this is the perfect part of collaboration. And like something like this, I also offered in here to one commercial channel I was working with. No response, pitifully, but this is something I, I think it's a future that the commercial channel, RTL in Germany case, and ARD, public channel in Germany case, in here, for example, Czech Television and Nova are joined at some project which they can both make sense. First of all, Czech Television has exclusivity at Eurovision, but commercial channel can have much higher goal in monetizing their artist or the artist in commercial sphere for bringing money into their own pockets and also saying like, hey, we are doing something for Germany music scene. We are doing something, you know. There are so many positive externalities out of such cooperation that I still don't understand why people don't see money in it. In my opinion, this is the perfect thing you can do. Second of all, what I believe, Stefan Rapp already is a winner of Eurovision. He also like was the part of such a cooperation in the past. I believe that if you have a person, a producer with a vision with a goal with something more than just corporate people no vision just do the work you know do it this way or this way like he can be wrong how he does it but I think that such a person like Stefan Rapp can just go and do how he really wants it to be done for his responsibility how he wants to do it with all the ego in because this is the thing you need like in football you have coaches who are like, no, oh, let's do it like the owner wants. They, this, is, this never works. Or you have coaches like Mourinho, Pep Guardiola, Antonio Conte, Ancelotti, who have their own vision, their way of work, and they are strong in it. If you don't like it, okay, I will go somewhere else. Also, they are very successful, right? Because this is how it really works in life. You have a leader, like I'm not talking about the politics, right? This is a different thing. You have a leader with a vision, with the responsibility, and also with the risk that he will fail or she will fail. But there are personalities. We need personalities at Eurovision World in general in TV, more and more visible once again to bring in what it's necessary like tv is poisoned completely by corporate people without any opinion and so on because it's dangerous to have it but also then the results are shitty and then also eurovision looks like eurovision is becoming so more stefan raps in here i would prefer than people who say yes to everything and let's see how it's gonna go maybe it's out of date you know but i'm glad that this is happening to germany because come on 80 million market must produce some quality like i think outstanding quality not something i will say like for eurovision this is okay no they always need to have a potential to win the whole thing they need to go this way the other countries are here to compete this and maybe with people like stefan rapp this is the way how to do it let's see let's see maybe it's completely wrong choice but it's a good step in my opinion and it's a step it shows more things than just one especially this combination of public and commercial broadcaster the country is jointing powers brilliant right commercial tv will have their money public broadcaster will have their winner of national selection representative let's see how it will go but i think it can only help what about you comments below australia is back to eurovision they confirmed so this is no really a new unexpected but i'm also very curious about how as bad as how australian broadcaster will make it happen this year because in my opinion they are going a little bit downwards since they started as a pop 
don't pleasing Eurovision country to extremely pleasing Eurovision country with certain like goal which in my opinion it's not a good way for australia to show their music industry which i think it's much much powerful it's close to america it's close to british Brit britain it's english native speaking country which in my opinion shouldn't please eurovision but should show how where the world is with the way of music industry which they can they have instruments they have power they have quality for this and in my opinion they should really do it i'm now finding out that Oh, my microphone is connected. Okay, this is the thing I I really believe Australia should do, should try, and be there. In my opinion, what do you think? Do you like where Australia is, or would you like the CBS to go back to their quality when they start, when they show off for the first time as a com contestants at Eurovision in 2015, and continue the way throughout? Now, I'm very curious about this. I'm very curious if they will change at least the mentality towards Eurovision the way back they were but maybe you have completely different opinion it's all right big news also coming from slovenia ema emma is back as a national selection for eurovision and it will be a selection process for slovenia to rise back their chances to be the best at eurovision or at their best what i'm saying actually they i like actually slovenia at eurovision for this authenticity they always kind of brings i don't know if last year we can call it authenticity but they at least brought quality but it was an internal selection they are going back to national selection which in my opinion it's a good thing not just because they can select or we can see more slovenian artists and i can have more youtube videos also on contrary but also that it's an advertisement for those artists to the world there may be only chance to shine into the world a little bit more they can do their own way and i'm glad that public broadcaster is giving them chance again because if slovenians can do something is this show of course the budget is not quite crazy but the quality of outcome in my opinion is quite high for what money probably they invest into it and also all the time i find somebody i like i really like regardless if it's a winner or not so this is a big news always new national selection is a big new a good thing to do from the perspective of what public broadcaster is what eurovision is and how to approach the music industry in the country and help it to shine and on this contrary the music industry should bring in the best possible quality so they can sell like the best possible music this is up to them i'm very curious what do you think about it that slovenia is doing national selection again i'm very curious i'm like myself i'm very very curious because i think this is the way to go the only thing is then to sell like the best possible stuff to be shown to people and then also to represent the country and those are also all news and those are also all news for today's video so i'm very curious about what you're going to say don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video share the video become a member if you want to have more content than you can have normally in here on this channel regardless this i'm glad for each and one each and every one of you and this is it thank you for watching see you next time